Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of a predicament. This is a series that I just started on my channel where I get myself into some academic situations that are not ideal and you will watch me try to do my best to get myself out of these predicaments. So a month ago, it'll probably be a couple months ago by the time I'm posting this, I did a piece set with you guys on camera. I filmed the whole process from start to finish. It did pretty well, people liked it. So I'm back with another installment in this series of me trying to do things academically that are difficult challenging if you will so today what do i have for you all well i have a class called modern china that i'm in i took this class in the hopes that i would connect more with my culture but what i actually do is sit in the back of the class on my computer and i play the wordle and the dordle and the cordal and the octordal and the sedordal and the semantle. In other words, I don't pay attention or learn anything. I thought it was okay because our only assignments in this class are to like do readings and then like write discussion posts. So I was like, I don't need to pay attention in class as long as I do the assignments. Wrong, we have a midterm. I did not know that. I didn't know that until a couple weeks ago when the professor uploaded the study guide and I freaked out because I was unfamiliar with every single term on there. Now, did I do anything about it? No, but I will start to today and it is gonna be Fun, oh boy, it's gonna be so fun. So today's Wednesday, the test is one week from today, and I think that's enough time for me to familiarize myself with the entire modern history of China, but if it's not, we'll find out. I think today what I'm gonna start doing is putting my big, large study guide together, and that was something that I was gonna start to do over the weekend, but then I accidentally went to Las Vegas to go see BTS, so that kinda like messed a few things up. So I'm gonna start today. I'll come back once I actually start beginning to study, which hopefully will be soon. Hopefully it will be today. Okay. Okay, it's actually the next day. I don't know how that happened, but I have the study guide here and I'll go through it with you guys. We have key terms to identify, key events to like put in chronological order, and then key readings to identify and explain the context of. So I have a list of like all the terms to review and all the readings to review. And as long as I know enough about those things, I think I will be okay. There are a lot though. I, they're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50, 50, 50, 60, 61. I don't think I can do this. I think I'm gonna make a Google Doc study guide. You know, I was thinking of doing a Quizlet, but I feel like I'm gonna need to write down a lot for each term. So I think I'm just gonna do it on a document and then maybe translate it over to a Quizlet. Dude, I don't have time for this. Li Zichong. Who the fuck is that? Oh my god! <coughs> Chinese armies intentionally exterminated at least 180,000 Zungars. And then smallpox ravaged the remainder, leaving less than one third of the population alive to either face slavery or exile. Dude, no, no, no. <laughs> Hoshan, I remember him. He was the guy, the most corrupt person. Yeah, ever. the corrupt, um. Corrupt official. Wait, what's that word? The one where the people get cut off and stuff? A yeah, a eunuch. He's not a eunuch though, right? Or was he originally a eunuch? No, I... Potentially a gay romance. I love that. 
purpose. Okay, everyone. So today is Sunday. It's Easter, actually. I'm gonna be so honest. I have not been doing as well on this front as I would have hoped. And it is completely my fault. I have a lot of other work to do. And just somehow, even though this is a midterm, it has fallen to like at the bottom of my priority list. I don't know. I like obviously want to do well. I don't want to do badly because no one does. But I just can't like the effort to outcome ratio here is just like really high. So like for each significant amount of effort I put in, I only get a marginally better outcome. And that is discouraging to say the least. But I have a system. I have a system. Let me show you. So this is my study guide. Um, these are all the terms I've done, so I've done quite a few of them. Just looking up definitions, context, why they're important, etc. These are the ones I still have to do, so... Actually, that's low-key not that many, but like, what I do is, over here, I'll have another window with, you know, Google. Google's my best friend, but also the textbook for this class. So I can use Google and like other sources to just get a general idea of what the thing was and around what time it happened or what time the person lived, etc. And then for a little bit more specific context for this class, I can look at the textbook. Now this is a bit tricky because I honestly, I have yet to actually start memorizing. Right now I'm just defining so that I can memorize later. But um, yeah, it's not going too great, but We'll continue. <laughs> Another thing I'm going to start doing today is look at the readings and the essay questions. I think the essay questions will be okay as long as I can formulate an argument for all of them and then memorize those. The readings, I just have to read and understand the historical context. So yeah, a lot of work to do, not a lot of time, but that is the situation I got myself into. So no one can get myself out of it, but myself. So a lot of what I'm doing right now is just like looking at the terms and finding what they are because the first thing to know is like facts about these terms. For example, if I'm looking at a historical event, I need to know what it was generally, when it happened, you know, how does it fit into the timeline of things. But sometimes there are more subjective answers that are harder to find out online. So a resource that I like to use is Brainly, which is also the sponsor of today's video. So Brainly is basically like a homework helper. It's a community of teachers and experts on certain subjects that provide answers for students homework questions. So for example, if I'm looking at something about the Cultural Revolution, right, I want to know what the impacts were. Well, well. So I can ask Brainly if they know the answer to that question. I'm going to type in why was the culture cultural revolution important. And there's one verified answer here that discusses the four olds of the cultural revolution. So this is actually really helpful because I know what the four olds are, but I don't really know like where they came from, right? Brainly can be online, it can be on your computer, or they have a mobile app as well that is really convenient. And they offer really supportive solutions. And in the case of STEM problems, they provide step-by-step -step explanations, which is super helpful for a STEM student such as myself. You guys can try the Brainly app for free by clicking the link in my description. Um, thank you to them again for sponsoring this video. And I'm going to be using them for the rest of the week to study for my midterm. Because uh, I need help. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Monday afternoon and I just took a nap. I worked on shit on Saturday and all day Sunday. And so I convinced myself that I could have fun on Monday and then do work in the afternoon. But now it's the afternoon and I do not want to do anything. Where am I on this? I've done all the readings. I'm almost through the key terms and I just have to make an essay argument that's coherent enough that I can write five paragraphs about it. That's all I need to do. So in theory today, if I can finish my key terms and do the essay argument, then I can just review for the next two days and I'll be good. I don't think that's gonna happen because I know myself and I'm a lazy piece of shit. <sighs> I woke up from this nap and it's one of those naps where you wake up and you're like, where in the world am I? What year is it? Like, you know? And I just wanted to go back to sleep so bad. But now I think I've like kind of woken myself up, but now I just feel like shit. 
Do work, do work, do work. I don't want to. I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> day another slay today's tuesday which is the day before my test guys i've been doing shit i'm not gonna lie but last night i finished the key terms i did i was actually really proud of myself but then i had to spend a lot of time preparing for a presentation that i have today and so i like couldn't really work on it but then i called my parents i asked them about the essay questions because i was like y'all better know this stuff like what do you think the answer is which was actually like kind of helpful all i have to do all i have to do today and tomorrow think of an actual essay argument and memorize the points that i'm going to write and then go through and memorize everything else um but i think i can do that Shikai is the first president of China. I made that up. <laughs> is he? Oh, I know, no, no, I know. <laughs> he worked for the Qing. Here he's a general under the Qing. Then they got rid of him. Then, after all the uprisings, they asked for him to come back. Mm -hmm. And then he did come back, but then he coerced the emperor to abdicate. So he effectively ended the Qing dynasty. Yeah, he did. Yes. Liu Shaoqi. Was he the guy who was in cahoots with Deng Xiaoping? The Great Leap Forward. Was the second five-year plan. And that was- Disastrous failure. Um, famine. Yes. Yes. Hello everyone. It is the day of the midterm. I'm right now running to campus. Um, running to catch the bus, because I think I'm gonna be late. But I'm just gonna go do some last minute studying. Cramming, if you will. Cramming works, everyone. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You might not remember anything after, but you'll remember it for the test. Okay, I'm dishing out horrible advice. Anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm going. I'm sorry, there's such a lot of construction. Ah! Okay, bye. I'm a historian. Okay. <laughs> where I like didn't really know what was happening. I did a lot of guessing, a lot of educated guessing. I think my essay was pretty good. I'm feeling great. So glad that's over though.